Hey guys, I'm Dr. Jeff Finley, and today we're going to talk about carbs versus fat. Now, too often people blame carbs for all problems, especially weight gain, and thus they feel that they should always be avoided. But they also feel the same way about fat. So what are we supposed to eat if both are bad? Well, today we're going to explore that very topic. To start, I want to preface that everyone is different. What works for one person does not work for everyone. So I'm giving you general guidelines to work through with your doctor to find what works best for you. Carbs and fat should always be consumed on an inverse relationship. I posted a picture below in the comments that helps explain this very idea. If you notice, as your amount of carbs increase, the amount of fat you consume should decrease. And vice versa, if you increase the amount of fat you eat, you want to see your carb levels decrease. Now, there's very specific reasons for this. Carbs have a tendency to spike blood sugar, of course, depending on the type of carb. As blood sugar goes up, your body releases insulin to absorb this blood sugar. Now, imagine that you also consumed a lot of fat with that meal. Guess what else just got absorbed? That's right, all of that fat. Now let's pretend instead that you ate a higher carb meal but had very low fat. Now instead of absorbing all that fat, your body simply will push it through your system to be eliminated. Now the same analogy can be used but opposite. If you have a higher fat but lower carb meal, your blood sugar is not going to spike, thus you're not going to release as much insulin, and so you're not going to absorb all that fat that you had. Now, in a previous video that Dr. Jessica and I did, we looked at what was the ideal diet for weight loss. Was it high carb, low fat? Was it low carb, high fat? What did we find? They both work. That's because it depends on the person. In a separate study that we looked at, in a meta-analysis, or basically all of the research compiled into a summary, we found that the best way was, in fact, through a low carb diet, but other studies have also found that you can still lose weight on a higher carb diet so long as that there's lower fat content to go with it. So if you're looking for help with weight loss, you should probably start with something like a paleo or ketogenic diet, something that's lower in carbs, unless you feel that your body does better with a higher carb intake. But again, this is something you should work through with a doctor. Going back to the concept of blood sugar regulation, it's important to have an appropriate amount of carbs, specific to the, per the person, of course, because of its profound impact on blood sugar regulation. If you have high blood sugar spikes, you may get a blood a burst of energy, but it can also lead to weight gain and insulin resistance, which is what type 2 diabetes is, essentially. Soon after the major spike in your blood sugar, almost always comes a plummeting of this level. This leads to feeling fatigued, and sugar cravings. If you continue to have these highs and these lows, it puts a lot of stress on your adrenals. This is where your stress organs are and thus leads you to release a lot of cortisol. Not to mention low blood sugar can also be a cause of brain fog, irritability, and even anxiety. This is why it's so important to listen to your body. Your body will tell you typically through symptoms, exactly how it's feeling with what you are feeding it. So, in summary, carbs are not the root of all evil, and fat does not cause you to get fat. When an appropriate amount of each is found, specific to the person, you can actually see lots of symptoms and problems diminish. Now, as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to give this video a like, share it with someone who might find this information useful, and we will talk to you guys next week.